This is the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Before I continue, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachahakwadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachahakwadash. What you just heard me speak was the ancient tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. And what I said was, Bless you, Yahweh. Bless you, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Now, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, Yahweh, and Hashem. Yahweh, meaning He is or He exists, the existing one. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and Yeshua. Yahweh Shai meaning he delivers or he is salvation. For he is truly the deliverance and the salvation of the nation of Israel. And Racha HaKodash is Hebrew for the Holy Spirit. For as it is commanded of me, I come unto you in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, and giving double honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone who continue to rule well, and much peace, blessings, and salutations are due to the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel, those of you who are of Negroid and Native Indian descent of North, Central, and South America, the Caribbean Islands, Alaska, and Canada also spread throughout the four corners of the earth due to the scattering for our iniquity by the heavenly father himself unto the elect of you i say shalom <clears throat> and shalom is a hebrew word for peace so may peace be upon you and your loved ones here in these last days now the reason why i opened up with the scripture out of the prophet Isaiah, the ninth chapter and the fifth verse, it's because it's speaking to a thermonuclear war, okay? As the scripture stated, in times past, wars were fought with confused noise, meaning the, the metal clanging together from swords and shields and spears and maces okay from men wielding those type of weapons okay and their garments rolled up with blood right but this war meaning a future war will be fought with fuel of fire speaking to thermonuclear weapons all right that are in the possession of these nuclear powered nations beginning with the united states of america aka babylon the great uh iran russia so on and so forth all right now i have an article here that i feel is important to bring out because not only is America, Babylon the Great, working towards beefing up their arsenal and thermonuclear capability, all nations around the world who have thermonuclear capability, their priority is to strengthen their military might. So they put all this money into the development of stronger uh and stronger and more efficient technology dealing with their uh, nuclear arsenal, okay? So this article here comes from newsnationnow.com. And as you can see, 
from the title. It says Pentagon pursues new nuclear bomb 24 times the power of one dropped during World War II, the second woe. All right. Now, the third woe is going to come quickly as prophesied in the book of Revelation. And the third woe will be fought with thermonuclear missiles. Okay. And what I would like to do is, um, you know, let's play this uh, clip here. I just want to say that I watch you a lot. You add so much value to this job and this position. I've watched you more now than ever before. News Nation is very lucky to have you. Cuomo, another reason more and more Americans are trusting and watching News Nation. The Pentagon asking Congress to find a nuclear bomb 24 times more powerful than those dropped on Japan to end World War II. This would be major to have in our arsenal. This is the Senate Armed Services Committee raises concerns about growing nuclear threats from Russia, North Korea. Tom Dempsey has more on this from Washington. Tom. Good morning, Marky. Yeah, this morning, uh, military leaders in the United States want to see Congress approve the production of a brand new nuclear weapon far more powerful than the atom bombs used in World War II. The military leaders saying they want to keep Americans protected from rising threats around the world. As the world watches wars being fought in both Europe in the Middle East, this morning, a new push by the Department of Defense to upgrade its nuclear weapons. Military leaders recently announcing they will pursue production of the B-6113 nuclear gravity bomb, a weapon 24 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, Japan during World War II. One defense leader writing in a statement that the need for the new nuclear weapon, quote, is reflective of a changing security environment and growing threats for potential adversaries. This is as serious a topic as we will hear about this year. Earlier this month on Capitol Hill, the Senate Armed Services Committee focused on the country's nuclear strategy. Leaders from both sides noted ongoing threats from enemies like Russia, which recently de-ratified a nuclear test ban treaty, as well as North Korea, which continues to conduct numerous weapons tests. To prevent war and keep the peace, it is incumbent on legislators to commit today to a program of sustained innovation and investment. This is the only way we can reclaim lost ground. This mission has become more urgent through Russia's assault on Ukraine and because of China's rapid strategic expansion. Here in the U.S., just two weeks ago, the National Nuclear Security Administration announced a team conducted an underground chemical explosion at a test site in Nevada, aimed at improving America's ability to detect nuclear explosions around the world. Now, with a call to upgrade the U.S.'s own weapons, some lawmakers want to see the country be prepared. It is time to begin making the national defense investments required to deter the conflicts looming ahead. The Department of Defense adds that this a new nuclear weapon will give the president the option against uh, certain harder and large area enemy targets while also uh, discouraging enemies from possibly targeting the United States. Guys. When it comes to making plans, you are. OK, and that's that. Now, as you see, Babylon the Great is trying to develop a gravity bomb. That's nuclear powered. That will be 24 times more powerful than that of the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Now, if you know your history, you know how devastating that destruction was. Okay? So, the technology that they're trying to develop now will be... Uh, in their uh, estimation, 24 times more powerful than that, okay? And they're doing this in hopes that it would deter any uh, outside threats to the mainland of Babylon the Great, okay? But little do they know that they're on the wrong side of prophecy because Babylon the Great 
will be drawn into a thermonuclear war okay whether they possess great nuclear uh, capability or not there will be no deterrent okay because the heavenly father Yahweh, these are his weapons okay these are his weapons as the scriptures speak that he made the smith that blow up the coals and the fire roughly paraphrasing and the modern day uh smith is the nuclear scientist he put it in the minds of these edomites to create this technology to de to destroy themselves okay uh let's go here a few chapters over to the 13th chapter of the prophet isaiah it says the burden of babylon which isaiah the son of amos did see Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones from mine anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, mustereth the host of the battle. Okay. So it's the Heavenly Father that's orchestrating <coughs> strategically the uh, uh, positioning of these uh, the armies of these nations to uh, fight that final war, that war of Armageddon. Okay, which will mark the second advent of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shahamashayak. Okay, now it says this verse 5 They come from a far country, from the end of heaven. Even Yahweh, the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Now, the weapons of his indignation is what? these thermal nuclear weapons these arrows okay the nuclear bomb the intercontinental ballistic missile the hypersonic missile is the working of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai okay Let's jump back here and see what more we can get out this article. Let's read this here. If you look at the bombs of Japan and Hiroshima, Nagasaki, approximately each of those bombs killed 80,000 civilians at one location and 40,000 at another. So multiply that times 24. And that, that'll that give you a good perspective of the dynamics of this weapon. And how far we've come te technologically to advancing our nuclear armament, said Donald Bramer, a former naval intelligence officer. So that was great destruction with the atom bomb. But these weapons that are developed today are going to leave the entire planet quiet it's going to reshape the whole uh, uh uh earth it's going to have the earth rocking to and fro like a like a a man that is drunk as the scriptures say okay and with these devils man they're fighting tooth and nail to uh remain that superpower here upon the earth but they're in great error because the Heavenly Father, once again, is going to destroy this place, America. Why? Because this is a wicked and sinful kingdom. Okay? There will be no deterrent. Okay? And there will be no, uh, no treaties. Whatever the Heavenly Father has brewing up, this world war will take place. 
okay and we're inching closer to that implantable technology being uh, 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 mandated throughout the planet which is the mark of the beast the radio frequency identification near field communication microchip and once that's implemented then this war uh, will follow not too not too long after all right but like I said before, there will be no deterrent. And you people out there, I mean, you, you have to, uh, well, really, you Israelites, okay? Because that's who this message is to. Uh, solely the elect of you, okay? If you come across this video, the message is for you to repent. Turn back to the Lord, Yahweh, and believe on the Son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Because. They're the only one that's going to be able to uh, grant you deliverance and protection from this destruction that's going to take place on this earth. Because Babylon the Great will be utterly destroyed. Okay? When these arrows are shot throughout the four corners of the earth, great devastation will uh, take place, man. So you Israelites, the elect of you, it's time to shape up and turn to the Lord. So I'll close with this here, proving that uh, there will be no determinant. In Babylon the Great, the United States of America will be utterly destroyed in the Third World's War, as prophesied by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now let's get this here out of the prophet Jeremiah. The 50th chapter. Let's begin at verse 9. Let's begin at verse 9. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon in the assembly of great nations from the north country, the north country being Russia. Their, and their allies it says and they shall set themselves in array against her from thence shall be taken from thence she shall be taken their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man none shall return in vain those arrows being their nuclear uh, capability it says in Chaldea shall be a spoil chaldea being babylon the great all that spoil her shall be satisfied saith yahweh because ye were glad because ye rejoice o ye destroyers of mine heritage meaning the oppressors and destroyers of the nation of israel because ye are grown fat as a heifer at grass and bellow as bulls your mother shall be sore confounded. Your mother being Great Britain. Okay? Because the Ameri the United States of America, so-called, stemmed from Great Britain. All right? And your allies will shoot uh, thermonuclear missiles on you as well, as prophesied in the book of Revelation. Because the beast shall hate the whore. It says, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hinder most of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Verse 13. Because of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hissed at her plagues, the plagues being those thermonuclear missiles, the fire from it, okay? And not to mention the fire that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, Hamashayak, and the Holy Host of Heaven will send upon this place and throughout the world. Verse 14, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, meaning that have uh, nuclear missile silos, it says, shoot at her, 
spare no arrows, spare no nuclear missiles. For she have sinned against the Lord Yahweh. All right. So there will be no deterrent. Babylon the Great will be destroyed. Shalom.